Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today's video is going to be about special permit tanks. The tanks you see here in front of me, these are all special permit tanks. You may even own one or more of these tanks. They also happen to be the most popular tanks in diving today. What is a special permit? Well, a special permit is issued by Department of Transportation, DOT, to the manufacturer of these dive tanks. Before they can go out to the consumer market, they must have a permit for manufacturing. All permits have an expiration date. How do you know if you have a special permit tank? Well, you can look at the neck of the cylinder and see the nomenclature and you will see an SP number. If you see an SP and a number afterwards, you know you have a special permit tank. Which brand tanks have special permits? Faber, PST, and Worthington. Worthington's SP number is SP14157. PST, also known as Prestil, their special permit number is SP9791, and in the early years it was E9791. Faber's special permit number is SP13488. Now the expiration dates for these cylinders. This one is E9791 or Special Permit 9791 manufactured by PST also known as Prestil. Their expiration date is September 30th, 2022. Next one up, Special Permit 14157. That is the Worthington tank here in the front. That is manufactured through Worthington and distributed through Excess Scuba. Their expiration date is October 31st, 2022. And lastly, we have here the Faber Cylinder. Very popular tank nowadays. This is uh, Special Permit 13488. Their expiration date, January 31st of 2022. Check this out. Here I have three 3500 high-pressure steel tanks. They are the original tanks manufactured by Press Steel, PST. They were distributed by Sherwood under the Genesis logo. Now, they are originally... 1988 on the yellow, 1988 on the red. The blue is a 1990 tank. They came into my shop for hydro testing. Unfortunately, they're full of rust. Can't do anything with them, so I have them for show and tell. Now, the red and the yellow are just steel tanks that are painted. The blue is actually a galvanized tank and then painted over top. The cubic capacity for the yellow tank is 80 cubic feet. The red tank is also 80 cubic. The blue tank I'm not sure what it is. It's not marked, but I'm thinking it's about a 60, maybe 65 cubic foot tank. The red tank and the yellow tank stand just under 21 inches. The blue tank stands right around 17 inches. Nice and compact. They're also the E9791 exemption. Anyway, they're really cool tanks. Just wanted to share it with you. It is up to the manufacturer of these cylinders to renew their permits prior to their expiration dates. If they do not renew the permit, unfortunately, these tanks have to be taken out of service. You can no longer fill them, you can no longer visual inspect them, and especially no hydros. Now, how often do these special permit tanks need to be renewed? About every four years. Now, if you own one of these special permit tanks, don't worry. The manufacturer is very interested in keeping their tanks in service. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Any questions or comments, please leave it down below. Thanks for watching.